very comfortable looking uh, reading room. It looks like there's thick carpet. There's a bright light that's glowing from the chandelier and soothing incense in here. Overstuffed chairs and a low table stacked with books. Um, what was giving off a majority of this light actually was what is lying dead on the table now, um, headless. Yep. Is uh, the remnants of this poor fellow. Y'all just saw Setra be like, ooh, perfect size. And it's like, for what? Oh. And you just hear put on her doll, <laughs> which is still animated. You realize that this is the area in which the cult of the canker uh, was dominant in, and you had agreed somewhere along the line to continue your investigation of this and lower levels in order to rid what you think to be the actual ghost of Belcora, the 500-year-old sorceress who plagued the town of Otari. Now, uh, you're going around finding the remnants of what happened to her scattered minions and uh, figuring out some other clues in which to help you with your final fight, hopefully. Also, I don't see my token. I'm pretty sure it's underneath the dead icon. <laughs> when in doubt. Nope. They're an eat stomp. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> Not judging. <clears throat> Oi. So if you right click on your token, do you get a arrows to bring to front, send it back? <laughs> or is that just yes. me? Oh, yep, we'll we get that down too. Okay. I don't know if we can actually enact it. What do okay, they do? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. It basically just uh, lets you choose which is on top. Yeah. So yeah. if in doubt, just start uh, messing with your token and uh, click on people. If you don't see yourself, click on anybody and see if you can right click on it and send to back. Say, worst case, it at least allows us to reshuffle. Yeah. So, say Sebastian's in front of me, I can yell at him to get him out, get out of the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. yeah. I laugh at the idea that Sebastian would be like between someone in danger. Yeah, I got behind Sebastian, and I can't get the right click to work. By the way, Satra's just gonna be like, "It looks so good," and show you guys her new doll. For anyone who didn't see her dismantle the thing's head. Uh, I think I still stopped calling you Victor. Oh, Vic. Can't very well be calling you Frankenstein, now can we? No. No, I don't want the Frankenstein roll. That has too much flesh. Well, put your toys away, Vic. It's time to do some work. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to ping it. I think we're heading that. What bloody of a mess does she leave it behind when she hacks the skull out? Ah, uh, see, depending on how good my roll is, not a lot of blood at all. <laughs> and that one was a pretty clean retrieval, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's a slurp, so there's no blood to begin with after a while. Yeah, uh, it was also a small creature, so not too much. Just a few drops there on the table <laughs> from the initial cutting. Well then, impromptu uh, puppeteering biology lesson aside, should we continue? There's certainly more uh, dire things at hand. Sure. Uh, for example, I'm rather curious as to what is through that doorway to the north there, Mr. Storm. Uh, 
Anyone want to make any bets? Mm. Death, destruction, uh, the usual. Cool. One, go one gold that's another hallway with more doors. I'm voting hallway with doors. No! I think we were all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we okay, found stop. the bathroom. <laughs> you did indeed. You find a private washroom. The bathtub and commode in this room are surprisingly clean. Although there's a minor enchantment to keep this room clean, it still operates. Uh, you see that uh, there is a trickle of water. <clears throat> the cleanliness rooms. Hmm? Oh, that's very fascinating. Uh, Cetra wants to test this. She's going to take the body of the rest of what's left of the pixie and throw it in. <laughs> Into where? Into the bathroom to see if it cleans it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you throw Don't... the bloody stump into the bathroom uh it's still bleeding and for some reason all the blood seems to be trickling into a drain in the center of the room at a slight decline is a dead body considered garbage to be removed <laughs> <laughs> just the whole body just disappear <laughs> that's why i was wondering if it would do it <laughs> You know, get rid of the evidence. I mean, um, anyway. <laughs> so, Sebastian is examining these enchantments to, to see if he can't uh, figure out how this cleanliness thing works. Thinking in the back of his head, it's like, hmm. you hear muttering under his breath. It's like, oh, I see, uh, if I apply this to my cloak, it's stain free forever. Only your cloak? No, 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 that would probably dissolve my undergarments. No, no, no um, <laughs> what have I tried? As Sebastian tries to figure out how to keep his clothes clean, I'm going to poke through this door to the south. Okay. Uh, Sebastian, you realize that it's nothing more than um, like a permanent cantrip? To, uh, to clean or to keep the whole entire room clean um, below there is a empty room there is a broken iron stool and a well used whetstone in here You're welcome to give me a perception of blind You notice that there is a door to the south. Was that door supposed to be hidden? Because I could see that before. It was well, actually, it was locked. Okay. <laughs> I was more trying to use that as judgment of wait, was my perception that shit that I'm like, yes, there's a door here. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a secret door until I realized I got my uh, symbols confused. Okay, that's fine. Just <laughs> wanted to understand how bad I rolled, possibly. It's, it, it's, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, I'm going to poke through this door. All oh, right, we do need locked. you to either bash through it or pick it. I'm going to attempt to pick it. Well, that'll be fun. Mm. Tetra's gonna be right next to him just in case. <laughs> uh, public, private. Oh, public Let's or blind? Public. Let's public. Make it public. Alrighty. That is good enough. Yeah, well done. God you damn it, there's my stairway. Stairs. <laughs> Going down. How much time do you have left in the day before it gets dark? Uh, do Not you have any time of time? Uh, any type of timepiece with you. Uh, I don't think so. I'm gonna close and reopen. Oh, never mind. Just had to reload. You've had no. several sessions, uh, several 
rests since you've been down here. I know, like, when we first initially came down here, we talked to the Attack 2 guy, which started us off, and we had only been here for, like, um, a few hours, so it was still morning. Yeah. So... Oh, excuse me. I guess in that case, such was gonna be like, hmm... Maybe we should go down those stairs tomorrow, and we should go meet up with our ghoul friend and go get him settled in town. I don't think it's been that long since we left him. Uh, indeed, it's only been uh, probably less than an hour by my measure. Because we, yeah, I don't think we've made it too far since we've uh, left him. Okay. I'm just in the air caution. She'll mention that. Cause she'll like, what time is it? <laughs> trying to think if there's anywhere else that we haven't really explored. I mean, like, there's we haven't gone up this hallway. Do you have we the want to the attempt natural... to finish exploring this? Do you have that whole like? natural area I'm seeing on the the south. Mm. Alright, plus there's stuff over on the right side too. From the temple area. Yep. I say we attempt to finish clearing this floor mm. first before we go down. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, so which way? Remnants of ghouls cool still lie uh, scattered across the floors. Hmm. Go up here. Ah, uh, yes. The, uh... My favorite in, in, uh, biome. <laughs> Hallway <laughs> with doors. Yes. Hallway with doors. There's a locked door to your right. And uh, an ominous looking long hall to the west. I will attempt to unlock the door to the right. Okay, all right. Go ahead and uh, roll it out right so we all get a chance to laugh. No need to laugh. This time. It's like perfectly time. average. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that door. All right. What you see here is... Uh, Shells that line these walls. Um, there is a partially completed, or it could be partially ruined, sculpture of a sprawling city that sits atop a five foot diameter circular table here. You see also what, uh, before you go in there, Sebastian. Let me finish this description uh, because it might change your decision. Uh, right here, you see what looks like a a big statue that's carved into the resemblance of a sorceress uh, that you've seen in the painting before that you would probably by now expect to be Belcora. Um, as soon as the door opens and Rusty steps in, it lumbers to action. So if you did want to barge through, you're welcome to, Sebastian. I'll give you the option. Um, I think we're, we're probably okay with the timeline of Rusty walking in the door. Okay. So let's do this. Mm. I know you like your uh, statues. I'm gonna take that away from you. <laughs> and, and of course, I naturally roll high on the initiative. <laughs> Only when I'm safe I'll and out of sight around the corner do I roll high. I mean, Storm's ahead of you, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. 
If Silent gets to go first, we're all fine. <laughs> I feel like Strom's survivability is like a direct response to Tito's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that is a cool image. Uh, Strom, let's see if you are first. You are. Superhero Strom, what will you do? He leaves. No I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll go into the room. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, five. And I'll just go straight up to it because I, I have to use two actions anyway to move. And then I'll just raise my shield. Very, very nice. Uh, she appreciates the fact that she doesn't have to move first. So, uh, a magical fist is coming your way, Mr. Stone. And Kablam! Yeah. Is there anything else with that? No. I think that's all there is to that. Um. Let's. Try that again. One more time for you to measure. Okay, Sebastian. Alright, um, Sebastian is very simply going to reach around the door jam and tap Rusty on the shoulder. Final action, uh, actually, because, uh, yeah, we'll move up here so I have some line of sights going on, but, uh, he's just gonna try to knowledge check this guy. I'm assuming Arcana? Uh, you can do Arcana or Crafting. Crafting. That's good. Okay. it's a hard roll. You're welcome to roll it out in the open if you like. That's well, easy enough to blind it. Knowledge checks are... There's consequences if you roll too low, so... Ooh. I'm not actually right. supposed to know if I got it right or not. So... Apparently... Roll too low you and you get to make shit up. Yeah. When you do, uh... This, I think you can ask questions last I read this. Okay, so primarily... You can cut about... Done. Yeah. All I was going to say was just that it's kind of usually like you can ask like what's its strongest save or what its weakest save or what its weaknesses are. It's usually stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not so can it be reasoned with? What's environment does it live in? What's the most notable offensive ability? Is it highly vulnerable or resistant to anything? Are any of its defenses weak? My usual go to is are what is it weak to? What is it resistance against? And how is it going to try to kill us? The last one's kind of rough. <laughs> How's it gonna kill us? Eh, every creature's got its <laughs> thing. <laughs> Wolf's got its bite. Cat's got its claws. Etchu's got who the fuck knows. <laughs> so it looks like you get one question. All right. So what is it weak so, to? What is it weak? What, to? Is, what is it resistant to? What is it resistant to? It is resistant to physical, except adamantine. Gotcha. Right, casters, form a firing line. <laughs> oh, Rusty, I forgot you were drained. That's some bad news. Eh, could be worse. Eh, it's not 
to work. That's not, not the end of the world. I can't remember, is the train stuff actually actively work? Like, that automatically do its own thing or no? You gotta remove it because well. it's time based. And the game has system has no, no but I mean like like is it gonna re did it remove my HP automatically? I don't think it did. Oh, easy enough to find out. Just take the to your level minimum one. E easiest way to check. Just take off the condition from your sheet, and if it's yep, doesn't it change anything, then drag the condition back in. Okay, we're good. Except it just removed even more. <laughs> Putting that back to what it was. Okay. All right, fair enough. All right. Um. Hmm. Wait, why am I concealed? They cast blur on you. Oh, I missed that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I figured you right. deserve um, combat without getting smacked around for once. That'd be nice. Alright, I will start by marking it as prey. Because so that's first turn, or first action. Second action, I will command Fernia to get her butt up here and go attack this thing. Movement speed. Forty. Okay. Five, nine, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Perfect. Okay. And then second action, she will go for a bite. She has enough damage numbers. <laughs> Impressed? Wow. Cool. She really uh, takes a bite out of that bark. And then Rusty will second action actually no, I guess it, this is my third action. Um, yeah, he'll move up here. Okay, as soon as she takes a bite of the bark. A jagged, sizable splinter of wood lances out at the golem's attacker. Makes a singular splinter attack against the creature without triggering reactions. Oh. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Look for the, <laughs> the imagery of that, of biting down on something and getting a, a giant sliver of wood through your mouth. Mm hmm. Well, it's basically yeah, like a, a piercing, a lip piercing, if you will. Ooh. All right, let's see. That's that's the only rela reaction. Uh, anything else for Rusty? Nope, that's it. Okay. I will also, just as a heads up, I gotta go help my son real quick, so I will be able to listen but not talk. Not a problem. Good. All right, Vita is up. All right, I'm gonna run forward and down in the room. Is this a standable spot? No, oh, this is like a bookshelf. It, yeah, it's a bookshelf. You probably want to be five feet out. Where was I? It's 20 feet of movement. Okay. All right. Uh... I'm a heal stomp. I'm gonna use a level two on him. Nice. Not spell slot, uh, font. All right. Sounds good. It's 
some of his wounds close up. Some of the massive bruising. Stop wishing tree. He knew how by how much though. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're rolling privately, Frost. Oh my bad. How do I change that? It was a just eleven for healing. Easy enough. You just right click and hit reveal. Mike already did it for you, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, in case you do have it on Vita, uh, right below there, I think there's a drop down menu, and it might say. Yeah, I have it on private. Role. Try to do public role for now. Okay, so that was a two action and a move, so we get Cetra up now. Mm-hmm. Is the middle thing like a column? Or is it a table? The middle thing is a... Uh... Remember Beetlejuice? Did you ever see that where the city was on that table? Yeah. Giant well, diorama. Is, yeah, it's a diorama. It's like a five foot circular diameter table, and it has sculptures, a uh, sculpture of a sprawling city on top of it. Mm. Okay. I was making sure it's something I can, like, use spells over. Yeah, you can see over it. Okay. Um. Oh, there's the range on living hair again. It's more than five feet. Mm. Everything you have is almost always going to be at least 15 to 30, so you can reach this thing with no problem. Unless it's touch. Yeah, that's the thing that like I'm just trying to make sure. So this one has a range of 20, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Aiming at this. That is going to touch, but not do any damage. Um, he didn't get through the AC. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. You see, there are bookshelves around us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. I think you have one more action left, right? Yeah, I think um, I just want to try to move, but would it be considered squeezing here? Yeah. Okay. That's fine for now. That way Sebastian has a clear sight for now. Okay. Alright, that'll be my turn. Let's have it stop. Okay. Well. Stop was going to try to punch it. With... Uh, knuckles made out of ice. Uh, let's see here. That. That is fine, and Stom will just raise his shield again. Okay, when you do that, Stom, raise your shield. She puts her shoulders back. She starts to scream, but it's a very quiet scream. It's almost like um, you hear somebody sanding a plank coming from her vocal cords and her hair slightly lifts up and you see that the hair like tendrils and they fire out almost like uh, porcupine splinters and it starts going everywhere in fact it shoots out four different times to four different people and I would go to Stom, Fernia, Vita and Rusty in that order. So, 
target. Done. Never mind, that ain't melee. What's that? Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, this is Dufernia. Okay, so it's attacking against AC. Yeah. Uh, Vita? Yeesh. Lucky Ouch. Vita. And rest. Alright. Rude. Don't forget your blood. Right. Don't forget your concealment. Right. Give me that DC 5 flat check. Alright, I can do. Uh, yeah, we can just use marks. Uh, that's. That I think that's my. Right. I think that's my Pathfinder one version. Yeah, that don't. <laughs> okay. That don't look right. <laughs> um, D one hundred C twenty. Yeah, that's oh, my first. We missed. That's my one E version. Woohoo! I don't know why I had Cetra highlighted, but <laughs> keep that roll. Gordian slip. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, so uh, that is the first attack, but that was only two actions. The last action, we're going to try a fist, but the map goes up. Doesn't matter, though. Oof. You realize that uh, this thing is pretty tough. Sebastian's up. Okay, I need to get a little closer to this thing to get within 30 at least. So one action to move. And then looking at this thing, it's like it's a statue of some sort. It's visually, does it look more wooden or or stone? It looks more wooden. It looks like it was carved from wood. Uh, that was a shit ass roll. Yeah, four is not going to help anyone, so... He'll, he'll stay where he is. Okay. Rusty. Feeling pretty chipper. Unfortunately, Fernie is not. <laughs> no. Um. Give me one moment. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to use one action to take out a pint of oil. Second action, interact with it to basically make a Molotov. Third action, throw. Okay. Assuming I'm reading the stuff in there correctly. First action has to be to take it out of uh, the pouch for it, anyway, and then I'm just, and then it would be the spend an action to prepare it. You hear a slight gasp from around the corner. <gasps> the books. <laughs> <laughs> He'll say, "Don't worry, I have I have magic for that too." <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll let it go for now. I don't know what the actual mechanics are if you don't already have a lit flame to light it with but we'll just we'll go with this for now I I get that but at the same time it just says spend and interact to prepare it yeah, so it, does, it, so does, it, it doesn't fine. even seem like it's accurate itself yeah anyway um, so ranged attack um, I, should, I think I can just use this as a quick way to use it so we'll just treat this as the roll Darn. Okay. 
So when you do throw it, does it become a grenade-like thing and create an area? Single five-foot square? I don't know, honestly, good question. <laughs> it doesn't look like it says, but it looks like you get to pick whether or not you're trying to attack the area or the creature directly. I personally, I've always been of the opinion that if you missed with a splash weapon like that, like it still hits the ground. I was gonna say, if we want, we can say that it's not actually lit like a Molotov and I just splashed oil everywhere. Just to kind of remove that portion of it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's just a bunch of oil over there now. Sounds good. Um, cool. Let's do that. So that's that's Rusty's the reactions, and then he's gonna have Fernia try for another bite. Cool. All right. Not going well. Feed it. Stom, are you still uh, on cooldown for battle medicine? Um, for himself, yeah. All right, but I can still cast it on you, can I? Uh, yeah. But you're immune for an hour, aren't you? Well, immune to his own ability to use medicine, uh, battle medicine. All right, I'm gonna use battle medicine on Stone right here in front of me. I guess I'm also gonna throw guidance on Stom. And just last action, I'll raise shield. Alright. Effective turn, etc. What's you got? Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> you can just right, double click so... your token and click to open those. Thank you for getting double click it. Alright, so I'm going to use Kel Telekinev. No, blah, blah, whatever this thing. <laughs> and I'm going to choose a book. <laughs> Alright. You find a book How to Kill <laughs> Wood Golems? And slam it into this golem. Okay. Sounds about right. Roll up the damage. Uh, so this is double, right? Since you only clicked on roll damage. Oh, is there a button for me to press two critical? I can double it. Okay. <laughs> Read this, punk. Nice. Six stones and books can hurt her bones. Uh, you have one action <laughs> left. Um. I think I'm gonna kind of squeeze myself into the corner, <laughs> just in case, and then my turn. Okay. Surely I will hit with this punch. Her name's not Shirley, but go for it. <laughs> I 
Missed by five again. Uh, um. Nah, I shouldn't use my hero point yet. All right. Oh, and then I raise my shield. Okay. Uh, she does the same scratchy, gravelly uh, cry, and her hair lifts again. How could she have this many, uh, this many strands? You wonder, but they keep growing and growing. Stop first. Bernie a second. Woohoo! Beat a third. Rusty boy. Uh, do I have anything for... No. So do we want to see if you are concealed? Or Rusty? Uh, no. Do take the damage of 12. And then she is going to pop a fist over at Fernie. Just a real quick, where, where, where was the roll for the sure. flat check? I didn't actually see that. Click on the uh, little icon -y. The The, ones the one and the zeros right the above, up. right above the splinter hit. Mark, Mark of the Dragon rolled it right on below. behalf of you guys. It might yeah, be rolled it right below it. stuff. Uh, oh, okay. I guess I just didn't understand how that thing worked. Got it. That's the macro. It's confusing. It's trash. Uh, Sebastian, uh, keeping things simple. Um, I doubt I can. I doubt I can uh, intimidate this thing. Um, so, uh, yeah. It's a piece of wood. I wouldn't expect it to think. Exactly. Well, I know it didn't work great last time, but uh, I'm actually going to. Let's see, where the freak that spell? There it is. I'm gonna do that first, actually. Um, Bloodline spell. This is uh, basically going to let me give Stom uh, one AC. If you wanna drag that effect, Draconic Blood Magic to your token. And basically give me advantage on this. Oh. Was it called Mischance, your macro? Yes. The I purple made everybody icon with have multiple heads. Okay, cool. Yeah, made everybody have access to that now. Uh, so what do you need me to drag onto the... the you you don't need to drag anything on? I was saying for the players, if you want to go to oh. the macros folder and drag that onto your, your bar, it'll so you all have your own Mischance uh, to roll if you need it. Um, otherwise, uh, Sebastian completely and utterly sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. All right, Rusty's up. Must be planning something good. Mm -hmm. Or something evil. Quality evil. That said, you might just want to delay for a moment. You're not actually here, Rusty. Wait, what? It's Rusty's turn. Yeah, I know. I was here. Oh, sorry. Did you not hear me talking? Nope. Mm -mm. 
not to uh, us now. I didn't say anything of substance. It was more just me questioning. So okay. that's why. Okay. okay. Um. I'm gonna have Fernia use her one action to move back here. Rusty All will right. use his first action to stride on up here. And then he will twin takedown. As you so do. I'll go for two strikes. Gotta try. It's a solid nope. Um third action. I will attempt to Stom, you've been trying to smack her with ice fists, right? If I remember right? Yep. Then I'm going to attempt to aid Stom in striking the wood golem by... Uh, the, 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 trying to trip her up just enough that she is off balance. Let's go with that. So I'll go for an athletics check when it comes to it. Okay. So that's my third action, and I'm good. Alright. Vita. I see quite a bit of blood splatters around here. Yeah. Um. This turn, I'm gonna target Tree Man. It's a Tree Lady. She's getting a little offended. Tree Lady. My bet. I was gonna say, uh, I don't have a button for it. Can I recall knowledge? See if I could You're notice or know anything about this. It's Arcana or crafting. Or an applicable lore, if you have anything. Like that. Such as I ate lore. fruit off a tree once. There. There you go. You know very little about this, unfortunately. But you are sure that any fruit that grows off this thing, you would not want to eat. All right. But, but the experiment, I mean, what? <laughs> I'm going to step behind Fernia. Well... Yeah, I'm going uh, to step behind Fernia and treat wounds on Fernia. Hatching up the hyena. Okay, you get a little splint. Start wrapping her paw. She's still trying to lick her paw. Okay. Etc. Yeah, you can uh, go ahead and roll for the treat wounds if you'd like. She's still up and moving, right? Who, Vernia? Uh, the tree? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the statue is okay. still very animated. Okay. Well, Feeling um... quite spry or spruce, one might even say. Very spruce. I'm going to try to slash her with the book. But um, not Thank sorry. you. I mean, bludgeoning, but... Yeah. I can okay. slash with pages. That's right. Paper cuts. Paper cut. Death by paper cut. <laughs> Does that work against wood? Probably not. Using it We're itself against state. itself? We're about, We're about to to uh, 29. Yeah, you do it. Let's roll for damage. And... You are carving your initials in the wood go <laughs> Anything else? Hmm. Now that I have room, I'm kind of go up to here. And then on my turn. Okay. Stomp's up. Time to make it three in a row. Let's have it. I 
believe. I believe again. Sure, I rolled the same session. number three in a row. <laughs> okay, well. Give it all you got, Captain. Because the thing is, I want to use the hero point, but I know I'm going to need it because I'm going to go down. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Resource expenditures. This is a very important step. It's a classic. Not worth. <laughs> Sorry. Correct. I always, I always push for it, and I feel bad when it doesn't work. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Arrow points, the worst and best system for me. So here. much <laughs> fun is being had so far. <laughs> okay. I think you guys know what's going to happen. Bring it! It's going to light itself on fire. Spread your volley. Splinter Volley is going on everyone in the room. What what's the range uh, of let's anyway? 30 feet. So well, you're not sure, but just yeah, yeah. You, you have a pretty 30, good feeling that these splinters can go about 30 feet. Yeah, judging <laughs> from the aerodynamics of these splinters. Yeah, no worries. I just want to point out you should be including Sebastian in this if you're not already. Uh, he she seems to be doing yeah she seems to be doing four at a time and it seems to be the ones closest to her gotcha there's a rhyme and reason um, this one is at your ranger this one is at your kineticist not only have I missed every time, it has hit me every time. This is at your... Oh, I, I did that wrong. Which? Ooh. She chose which one she really wanted to crit. And I'm sorry, but Fernia is still closest. She looks back as her foot paw is being bandaged. It's a splinter in her eye. Oh, no. I'll take a headshot. <laughs> Shoot. Sorry. I should have push to talk on, so I you can't hear me laughing. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. I want to hear the laughing. <laughs> come on. I got no and, problems. <laughs> and one more strike. Oof. Man. She is kicking ass. I'm impressed with this uh, statue. Sebastian is up. Okay. Uh, Stom, Stom, if you haven't already, go ahead and remove that dragon thingy. Um, Sebastian is... I need to take this a little more seriously, so he's going to pull out some actual spells here. And he's gonna try to trip that, trip that statue up because they're not exactly known for uh, their grace, I would assume. Okay. This is grace a that area. area. I'll just reiterate that red circle is the area. Okay. So it's greased and oiled, and it is spinning around like a little ballerina. God damn. <laughs> she smiles. You can tell she has wooden teeth. Bestie's up. Washington would love you. <laughs> she can't tell a lie. Wait, is it really back around to me already? Yeah, we're zooming. Everyone's so efficient at this game. All right. Um, okay. Uh, what, no. I, I'm i confused. Why are you confused? Um, what did you do? Because I never did my, my aid. Oh, he, uh, he, atta he attacked twice. Well, he attacked once, and then he critically 
failed his attack. No, uh, yeah, but uh, it was, I missed by five, so an aid wouldn't have done anything. Okay. I missed all by right. five all three of my attacks. <laughs> Alright, get good. Um, <laughs> geez. I will spend my first action attempting to trip it the old-fashioned way. Right. Um, I think one of these that does have trip. Alright, so, to do this, uh, one moment, I'm looking something up that I haven't used in a very long time, that I don't actually remember if it's relevant or not. What? My heritage, I don't, my great and old thing. Yes, I do get a plus one. Okay, cool. Plus one circumstance bonus for that, as well as a plus one um, potency rune bonus. So I'm using my weapon for that. The trait called catch a stick. Seventeen versus. Oh, hold on. Well, yeah, that's because I I didn't use the actual action, which would have met it, made it target. Should have been. Uh, so it's reflex DC. Yeah. And you're so trying should... for a twenty-six. Okay. Yeah. So I'll ignore that second one anyway. But I was trying to get it just to show correctly. Cool. It... All right. So um, first action, nada. Second action is going to be just a straight twin takedown. Then. All right. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll do twin takedown. Now, right, because so... this is your second, your yes, I'm starting at map. I'm starting at map two. Yep. Gotcha. Nope and nope. All right, okay. that is two actions gone. Third action. Uh... Let's go for another aid. Um, this time I will right. attempt to, we'll say, even though I'm not going to, I'll just say it's a, I'm going to faint with you trying to use deception to make it think I'm going to go for an attack and kind of lead it into hit, uh, Stom's attack. Got it. Okay. Fair if he comes anywhere close. <laughs> and Fernia okay. is going to just, all right, she's there. And dead. She's not feeling too good. Yeah, she's not dead, but she's not doing good. All right. So on to Vita. You guys need to have a burning desire to uh, fell this foe. All right. Heal for everyone. Okay. Now, does this affect enemies as well? Yeah, I might have helped to made health, but everyone was about dead. Okay. Uh, well, actually, is this spirit or vitality? Vitality. Yeah. E yes. Not affected. Woohoo! <laughs> What are you doing, Doggles? Okay, that was your three action, so Cetra is up. Oh, a purple stuff. Oh, good. Pretty. It is pretty, <laughs> but I'm scared. <laughs> Alright. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Um... Can I cut in for one second? Mm hmm. Uh, Vita, your healing fonts, those should all be being cast as level 2 spells. 
So those are all worth an extra d10, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that was a, a yeah, you're right. That was only rolling the uh the one okay. D. Cool. Uh you want me to roll a second one D ten? Just probably, double up. Probably wanna roll um just hit that healing one more time. Just hit your your uh roll damage healing button one more time. And uh for Stom, just roll an extra one D ten for that previous heal. That'll probably balance things out. Yep, just roll again. Well, how about that? And uh, the third one on the roll is just going to be for Stom. So wait. You... You're healing Fawn. That was... Wasn't that... A, Oh no, the three X. Oh yeah, I did use a uh, healing font on Stom, a level two one earlier. That's what I was referring to, Mike. Um, healing font previously was cast at one d ten. That should have been two d ten for Stom. I see. Okay. I probably could have said that clearer. <laughs> I understood what you meant. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Cetra, looks like you're up now. Vita's got Vita's keeping you guys in the game. The dice are keeping me out. (laughs) I'm going to. I'm gonna help Stom. Like, hey, Stom, I've got you. <laughs> yeah, probably him. See, so we had it off. One more action. I don't get to use that spell very often. Um, is my Foxfire a single action? It is. Okay. I do that. <laughs> oh, critical. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> Never mind. I do All nothing. Right. <laughs> Stop, is it? Haha, <laughs> now I've got you right where I want you. This time, I'm going to just do the one action attack. I knew that was going to happen because now I'm going to do a second attack. And it still missed. Mm. I'm so sorry. Hard to get away from the dice <laughs> Alright, let me raise my shield. The volley begins again. Resty. Stop. War of attrition. Etc. What am I rolling? Uh, you're not rolling anything, but you do take 26 points of splinter damage. And Porphyrnia takes 30 points of splinter damage. I'm near death for that one. Jesus. And then Rusty. There's a fist coming at you. Um. Dear Lord. Yeah, it's really it's really good to know that blur spell's going to use. Yeah. <laughs> Hot. All right. Sebastian is up. Oh my right. god. Fernia is down again. Yeah, I'm I I'm like doing this how... just I'm doing this just for the morale of actually damaging this thing. 
I like how Fernia rhymes with I... Bernia. <laughs> hey, I tried. Hint, hint. I tried. Sebastian, don't you literally have Firebolt? I do, but I've missed every single time I've used it. <laughs> Spellcasting okay, is 50-50 well, to start with. If you're targeting yeah, a difficult creature, it's it's bad. Rusty set. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeesh. All right. Well, at least your force worked. All right, I'm going to try this again. Because I don't have a good way of doing anything fire related. So, I'm going to attempt to trip it again. You know what, actually? Sorry, one second, I gotta double check one thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try to trip it. Alright. Reflex DC is 26. Good luck. Alright, so. Weapon potency. Oh, yes. Alright, that's all correct. What happens on a crit fail? Um, you fall and you're prone. But I can just drop my weapon that has the trip trait instead. Fair enough. Unfortunate. <laughs> um, second action, he's going to attempt to faint. Actually, do I think that would work? Hold on. Someone else double check me on that. I, we already called out the fact that we don't think this thing thinks. Because faint is a mental trait. Do you think Rusty would have a good sense that that probably wouldn't work? No one's asked that question yet. I, and that's why I'm asking the party. Is that too metagamey or not? Because I already made the comment earlier. Probably, probably borderline because we don't actually know for sure one way or the other. And no one's actually tried any mental effects on it yet. That All said, right. I mean, well, I'd, I would have no problem if he chose to do something different. Like, pick up my damn weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, as long as everyone's okay with that, I'm just going to pick up my weapon and try for... <laughs> Twin takedown! Okay. Let's try to get some damage on this thing. Let's have it. Alright. Depressing. Even more depressing. This is ridiculous. And it, the thing is, it's standing still. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I think, like, I get the feeling, oh no, it's going to move, and it just, it doesn't move, so I just miss. <laughs> Alright, that's me. I the, like the idea I'm of just going to sit here and eat my chocolate candy. lava cake in disappointment. <laughs> Ooh, alright. And a radiance torch. Now we're talking. Jokes I don't on know you. why it looks so much lower, but That's it was supposed it. to be a straight line. Uh, this doesn't say only enemies. No, it was. Yeah, but it's a sixty. It, it was supposed to be a straight line right in front of me. Fernie is laying on the ground dead. I mean, technically she's not dead, but yeah. Um, I mean, he could just always move forward. He only has to yeah, do two and you wouldn't get two the action. three action. You can get the two action. Do you want to do the two action? Because if you do a three action from there, you will hit Fernia. I mean, the three action literally just doubles the range. That's all it does. 
Yeah. yeah. I imagined it as a... Hold on, yeah, I'm gonna relocate. Let's see, let's give the reflex save. Oh, we have a failure. You actually hit Finally. it. Finally! Do your worst. Oh, uh, hold on, let me, uh, <laughs> let me. I know how this game's been going. I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> That's the spirit. My bad, hold on. I'm just trying to make sure I'm rolling the right amount. Because it's only the two action. It's a single round. Sorry, I ain't got my mouse. It's hard to... Scroll. Hey, Mike, I need to step up for a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to precast sure. this privately. Uh, um, 44. Okay, cool. All right. And I believe that's force damage. I don't know if that's effective. Uh, it is affected by force damage. It failed, so it will take full nine. Nice. You see, uh, a bit of it is starting to uh, whittle away. Such as that. So we're just whittling, whittling away at it? Yes, you are while it's chunking away at us. <laughs> um... I guess... Hmm. Well, it seems most effective just throwing books at people in this place, so I'm just gonna keep throwing books. You found a strategy that's worthwhile. See that attack. That might not hit. That did not hit. That was only a four on the die. That's two actions. You got one left. Um. Wait, that was only one? No. you. That was two actions to cast the telekinetic projectile. Okay. But you do have one action left since you didn't move. Okay. Oh, the flyer. So I think I have to do the minus, right? Yeah, or you seem to remember that if you're standing here, you usually are getting hit the closer you are, and you're not looking so good. Hmm. Okay. I go to a corner then. <laughs> okay. Try to use the bookshelf as partial cover, I guess. Alright. Stumps up. Am I though? Uh, okay, sure go. All right. At twenty three AC, man, that is rough stuff. It's not even that high. <laughs> I'm just rolling well, terrible. It's rough for you guys. <laughs> With your fours. Your four rolls. Okay. Um, I'm going to take it easier on you guys. 
Now I'm going to do this splinter volley. Good luck. Rusty's first. Low roll. Low roll. <laughs> or, or not. That's the case, maybe. Ouch. All right, I think no, we No, nothing about it. It actually still has to hit me, try to hit me with the mirror image, even for that. Because it's still a oh, strike. Oh, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, let's do this. Would you like to roll it? I already did. Oh, nice. Okay, it misses. Wow. Uh, I'm sure to realize that earlier because that. I, I shouldn't have taken the last one, which was also a crit. Actually, no, it wasn't a crit. It just hurt. Yeah. Okay. That's There's such a small chance of that actually working. You really got lucky. Okay. Uh, Stom. He points at you. Vita. Uh, he points at Vita. And unfortunately, Cetra, you did not get far enough away. So, a splinter coming your way. And ouch. That might have put Cetra down. Yep. Then a fist at Stom. Ouch. I'm already defeated morally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is looking rough, but everybody is still standing. Somehow. Uh, except for Fernia and Cedric. Sebastian. He rolled before he left, uh, and he fired Produce Flame. And I regret to inform you that the roll was a 17. So that is a miss. Rusty Viper. I'm just trying to decide if I go the route of trying to trip the damn thing again, or if I just go for attacks. I should probably just do attacks, because we just need to do damage. Alright, so I'm just going to do a twin takedown. I believe. Oh my god. You know what? <laughs> Petra's just taking a nap in the corner. You well, know, okay. like first, piled on first let me try, the, let me hit, try to hit with Kukri. Okay. Rerolling the Felissa with a hero point. Okay. Thank you. Oh, check that out. Nice. Can't wait for minimum damage. Okay. We have some damage. Uh, I got some good news, though. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm down! <laughs> well... Here's the good part. You are still uh, concealed, so this might miss. How about that? Woohoo! Okay. Oh, my God. It's turning. I didn't even click. Okay. Anyway. Damn. Um, yeah. Oh, you know, I guess that was actually just my first turn, or my first action, wasn't it? Is such a dying one or two? Good question. Uh, should be just dying one. Yeah, I think this is the first okay. time. Just yeah, all right. I'll just double check in. Uh, I'm going to use my last spell two spell slot to uh, Radiant toward him again. But I'm going to okay, do the three action. Second. Did Rusty have any more actions? I uh, Yes, I actually have two more actions now I think about it. Okay, so let's... Uh, oh, I thought that was... Oh, my bad. No, you're good. I honestly didn't realize I had already only used one anyway. Um, I will attempt with both weapons. Just one extra action each. Okay. Oh my gosh. There we go. Now we're talking. 
Unfortunately, Unfortunately. it doesn't get past the five points. All right, cool. <laughs> Okay, now I'm now good to go. Another uh, boy or uh, inner radiance turn. All right. Same line placement. I'm not good at placing the line. It's all good. All right, I know where it is. See how it does. It's a success. You can go ahead and roll damage, and it'll take half that damage. Ooh, that was a good roll. Nice. I think you did better than the first one when it did fail. Okay, uh, yeah. you get uh, one more action. No, no, that was a three action. That was a three action? Three okay. action, two turn. All right. Nice, nice. All right, Cetra is up. Uh, so actually, Cetra goes up here, but we'll let her um, roll. Or conscious. Well, no, actually, it would be Stom and then Cetra. Mm. You can tell Stom that this thing is starting to teeter, uh, just like your friend Rusty and yourself. Well, time to go bowling. It's like you, your three dominoes, just with a, a big gust of wind. One will blow over. Uh, so, so close. Um, I mean, if it hits me, I'm going down, so... It is it has hit me every single time, so I'm just gonna attack again. Hail Mary. That's how you do it. Alright, Cetra, you get to roll your um What is that called? Uh death save. Death save. Where is a death save? Uh, a recovery check, it's called. So, DC equal to 10 plus your current dying value. So, you need to roll. Your dying value is 11. So, you need to roll an 11 or higher on a D20. Okay. That's not what you want to do. So your dying value increases by one. So you are now dying two. Let's uh, see. Oh, the entire room went black for me. So I can't see anybody. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Funny thing, you anyway. can't see when you're dead. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'd like to see what's going on for game purposes. <laughs> yeah, probably better off loading the stream up then. Why? Uh, I don't want my. I don't want everything to go black on I'll, me. Yeah, I'll. I'll just. I'll give you can give her. Ob observer of Fernia. Oh wait, Fernia's down too. <laughs> Although he, she fine. didn't have the actual stuff applied to her. But just remember, you're dying too. Okay. Okay. Um. I actually don't know how dying works for animal companions. I'll have to look at that. All right. Is everybody excited about this nope. wood golem's turn? I know I am. I have been so excited about this entire fight. <laughs> Legitimately, the only reason this is so painful is because we can't get flanking on this damn thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's rough. No, the way things have been going for me, even if we got flanking, I would just roll even lower. <laughs> See, I would have had a, a three extra hits if we had flanking. Okay. 
Excuse you. This, Excuse this you. Rusty. Damn it. Oof. Ouch. And goodbye. Jeez. How many times you've been downed? <laughs> Do you have wounded conditions? No, because those get removed at uh with the treat wounds. Oh, okay. So between combats, it doesn't really matter as long as somebody gets as long as we heal up. Okay. So this is only the first time I've gone down this fight. Nice, nice. All right, Stom, you ready for this? That's where the magic happens. Uh oh. I was right. Online. Even if I raised my shield, I still would have gotten hit. <laughs> Oof. Uh, if it's any consolation, uh, you guys are fighting a creature level six. So this is a very uh, it's a severe encounter, I believe. No, actually, it says moderate. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's that too bad. Only one of them. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. That was two. Vita, let's give you a, give you a turn. Why not? 13 to Vita. And let's see. The other two are down. How far away is uh, Sebastian? It's your lucky day, Sebastian. It can reach you. Oh, you have to did. perform a lock. I'm a, I'm a twig. Everything's pretty much auto crit on me. <laughs> That's why you hang back so much. Yeah. Oh, is that magic? Uh, yes, I gotta double that. Uh, yeah, it's very white. Cool. Wait, double? What? No, you don't double. I already rolled critical. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Not it like has it. one more action. So it's going to send a splinter. over at Sebastian. And as we get closer to a party to wipe, uh, Sebastian, what would you like to do? No good choices. <laughs> it's been a while. Throw a potion at Rusty. <laughs> That's uh, not how that works. I right. wish it was. I don't. I don't. Ha I don't get to use this very often. Um, so this is a wand, and I'm overcharging it. Ooh! All right. Yeah. Nice. So it's still going to go off. It's just a matter of whether or not it gets destroyed afterwards or not. Okay. Bing. 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 Double check what the the roll is on a overcharge. Uh, da, da, dee, da, dee, dee, da, da, dee, uh huh. Uh, DC ten flat. Okay. It goes. It snaps. <laughs> it pulls a Voldemort. It, it splinters. Does. It splinters off the tip from its. Uh, it's just gone. <laughs> if Rusty takes damage while he's down, is he just dead? He t he's dying goes up again. It depends on how many times I get hit. Yeah. Alright, anything else for Sebastian? Uh, he's shaking his hand, blowing on his fingers. <laughs> Vita, you're the only one standing in this room. Uh... Well, I already opted to do the two-turn two blast, so he has to make another save. Okay. Usually the way that works is you don't... No damage happens the first round, and then all the damage happens on the second round. But I'll go ahead and uh, allow this for now. What, what save was that? Was that a reflex uh, save? I think one second I'll post it again. Yeah, it's a reflex. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure that's a pass. I want to say it was a 20. Okay. And you want to roll 44 again? I'll take half of that. Uh, take that. That was eight. Da four. Oh, yeah. So I'll take three. Okay. Not too shabby. Uh, let's see. Stum, you are. You're in a good place. You want to roll your DC or 11 flat check? Nice. Oh, yeah, now we're rolling 20. Nice. <laughs> hey, Gita, if that was a two action uh, Radiance Torment, were you doing anything else? No, that was a. Th he did the three action last one and the three action this one. Oh, so yeah, it was a three action okay. two round. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, uh, Setra, you're welcome to do another d20. Dice don't like me. <laughs> I don't like any of us tonight. All right, you are now dying one, I think. Because you were dying too. Okay. Passed. Uh, Rusty, you get your DC 11, I think, since it's the first time you're down. Yep. Wait one second. All right. The, the foundry sheets are going to automate that for you guys. Um, on your sheets, right by the hit points, there's a die icon just to the left of the dying wounded that flips. And that'll. Yep. That's what I just used. Everything. Yep. Okay. Um, sorry, Sebastian. I wish you would have moved. Yeah, I know. I got you. I'm probably skin by, as I tend to. Holy crap! Oh, yeah, that was what I was about to say. The the dice Thank gods have a thing for me. Rolling stats nice. and like not dying at the end. <laughs> okay. I pay for for dying in the middle often enough. Um, Sebastian, the fuck do I even have left? <laughs> no spell slots. Um, it's so low. You've got this. Healing potions. It's two actions though. Sure, you want to try to kill it? I mean, I don't really have much of a choice but to try to kill it. It's just a question I mean, of you, if I'm actually going to be successful or not. You could attempt to kill it and then just step around the corner. Oh yeah, no, I definitely, if, I'm, if I do try to attack it, I'm, I'm moving out of line of sight. That's without a doubt. It's just a question of like, what can I actually do to it that will keep you guys alive? And I don't think I really have... I'm going to go for a Caustic Blast just because it's a reflex save and not AC. I feel like I'm probably going to have a little better chance at it. With a, a look of deep regret and almost like a, a witness in his eyes as he throws this uh, five-foot burst of acid in the middle of the library. <laughs> the books. He actually failed. Wow. God damn. All right, persistent one damage. <laughs> if it's a crit. Okay. Great. No, it's not great. Okay. Uh, that's two actions, and I'm just tucking around the corner. And he's going to call out, Vita, yeah. get out of there! All you won't right. do anyone good if you're dead uh, yourself! Rusty right here. 
And I'm going to use Stabilize. That's a true friend right there. Woohoo. And I'm running. <laughs> he just slaps a band-aid on you and hightails it out there. Twenty-five, right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Five. Ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah. Uh, that was a uh, stabilizers too, so that's three actions. Okay. Stop. I'm just eleven. Well, I already stabilized. Oh, you stabilized to one. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just at zero hit points, unconscious. Etc. Mm -hmm. DC eleven. You are now stabilized. Yay. I think, Rusty, you are stabilized. Yep. Okay. The wood statue just stands there, staring at the door. Sebastian. Uh, action to retrieve a potion. Uh, action to drink said potion, and third action to retrieve a second potion. Beat it. Alright, I am going to battle medicine uh, Sebastian. Oh, wow. Actually failed. Um wasn't I can't wasn't look at anymore. scalpel. I, I'm pretty sure my ligaments go that way, not that way. Did you leave something in the wound? <laughs> Poison. <laughs> Uh, I believe I actually. I don't think I can treat my own wounds. Yeah, I'm still on cooldown. I'm also gonna. I'm gonna cast guidance on Sebastian. Okay. And Sebastian's just up. because I don't. Yeah. Just give me one second here. Just trying to organize a few things. Um, Sebastian is going to... Uh, look, Vito, we need to do this carefully. Uh, let me close the door here first. So it can't attack us. Uh, let us get closer and ready... Ready something special. So he's uh, one action... Yeah. One action to move up, one interact action to close the door, final action to move back a space to give Vita room to get in front of the door. Alright, well, when you came up there to close the door, it gets a reaction. Okay. First thing that it sees is you, and that causes a splinter to come out. All good. Oof. <laughs> Tries to close Damn. the door. Talking to Vita to his left, gets shot in the head. It's like, look, we have to plan this cafe. Let me close the door. <laughs> Sports it through the side of the head. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to reach down and drag Sebastian back five feet. <laughs> good choice, good choice. <laughs> is, that, is that two actions? Yeah. I had to move with him. Easily. Yeah. Potion out. Bastion. To prepare to feed him.
Nice. Okay. Peter. Peter's <laughs> leaving. <laughs> you going back to town? Oh my bad, I was clicking the wrong key. I'm pushed to talk. <laughs> uh, I'm a I'm a feed Sebastian the potion I had pulled out. <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys were being left to rot. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. I'm sitting here thinking it's like what um Okay. So we're all in here left to just Vita die? is a survivor, Alex. So, here's a question. <laughs> the door. Which way does it close and open? If I were to stand over Sebastian's body, can I, like, reach around the corner and close it? it so, it's in. gonna hit the body of the boar. <laughs> I don't think the door can be closed, then, because that's where the boar is. <laughs> no, Fernie is two tiles in. Uh, right not that looks like one. Fernie is right here on my screen. Yeah, yeah. it would only be a problem if he was here. here. Oh, yeah, there's, I there's the another door. five okay. foot to the west of Fernie before the door. More, more to the bottom. Um, the door opens inwards. That means you can't reach it from around the corner. Man, I'm going to cast guidance on myself. Anxious to see how you get out of this, Vita. Um, etc. Rusty, Bastion. All right, Sebastian's up. Uh, well, actually, Sebastian's he got up. A, he got a heal potion, so he's he's okay. Actionable. So he's going to get up from prone. He's going to quaff the potion that he has in his hand that he was going to give to someone else. Okay. And let's see, final action. So I never really use these rules. Crawling. If you're prone, can you still crawl while prone five feet? Yes. So what he's going to do is he's actually going to carefully get down on his hands and knees and, and belly like he's uh, crawling under some barbed wire. And he, that's it doesn't gonna, take that, an action what's to up? get prone. That's fine. It it's takes fine. an action to be prone. That's fine. I have the action for it. This is his well, final action this round. You're aren't you? Because you were unconscious? I stood. I was already unconscious at the start of the round. Yeah. Because you fed him. So you're already Because prone. he was fed a potion. And you are prone. He was prone. Yep. <laughs> I technically got up and got back down again. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> technically. <laughs> but his last final action was to just get prone. So he's... he's okay. He's, he's, I, wait. Wait. Is it actually an action to go prone? I thought you just drop. Yeah. No, in in one e it's free, but in two e it's a. Oh yeah, I guess it is. Drop prone. I could have. Right. Weird. Okay. Golem seems to uh, be staring at the door again. Vita. <laughs> I'm gonna use an action to go into my backpack, and. Uh... Use an action. Yeah, to go into my backpack and pull out a rope. Okay, you've got a rope. And use an action to interact with that rope and tie a loop into it. Okay, you got a loop. And I want to step up to where Sebastian is and see, am I able, can I throw this and hook the doorknob? Is there a doorknob? It's a lever, but it's facing in. On the inside of the, the door? Doors, yeah, yeah, the door is wide open. Grab. And you could, you still... could stay cover and try to hook that from around the, co the corner, and you would get greater cover. But that's right, if what... Sebastian moves out of the way. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what Sebastian's yeah. working towards. I'm going to tap him on the shoulder and tell him I want to I wanna, I wanna get to the corner when he can move 
that that'll be my turn. I'm gonna save that action to just move one in when he can move. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so Mike, being prone and hiding around the corner like I am, was that cover greater cover? What is that? You have greater cover. Yeah. Greater cover. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cover. Cover. Take cover. Use me. Try and find a status for it. Yep, oh, just for okay. AC, to reflex, and stealth. Yeah, it's just a, a status work. Easier. Um, he's going to inch up so he can see around that corner. Remaining undercover. I'm probably going to get that attack now. But hopefully the... Mm -hmm. Actually, going to take it back. Shield first. My order of operations out of, out of order here. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got shield. I got cover. Going around the corner. All right, good luck. Nice. Oof. Is the, the crawling while prone like half move or is it just one square? I think it's just one square. Okay, makes sense. Um, and he is, actually that would have had to be three actions to do that because taking cover in 2E is not an automatic thing. So I have to have taken, actively taken cover wall prone so that should be my three mm -hmm. actions there so we'll see if i survive until the beginning of the next round to do something but vita you too can get to the corner now okay Splinters. Vita. I'm going to step up and stabilize Sebastian. Don't worry about me. Do whatever you're going to do at the door first. Or, or to the allies or anything. Don't worry about Sebastian. Alright, well yeah, I want to try to see if I can use my rope to hook that door. Yeah, you can step over Sebastian, hook the door with the rope, and move again with all three actions. Uh, I'm going to do that. Okay. And uh, I'm going to move back to where I am to just pull the door closed as I'm... All right. You've got the door closed. All right. And then I'm going to... Is it just going back to my turn? Uh, it's Sebastian can make his uh, save. He is unconscious. Feet is up. I'm going to check Sebastian's pockets and see does he have a potion. He had like three. <laughs> I'm going to feed it to him. <laughs> okay. Oh, those tastes terrible. Okay. <laughs> See if we can hopefully be a little smart about this. All right. He's getting back. Well, first of all, I guess stand up. Okay. Standing up. Going way back. And he's all going right. to call to Vita. Vita, uh, open the door. I can hit it from here. Hopefully, I don't think I'm in range of it. I don't think it can attack me from here. And this is where get, Vita gets shot in the head, and then you're just stuck back there watching your friends die. All right, Vita, what are you doing? <sighs> Boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a step forward. I'm keeping the rope on the door handle during all this. I still got the rope in my hand. Mm-hmm. Just in case I fall down. Uh, I'm gonna open the door really quickly, and as I do, I'm gonna try to step back down the hallway. Okay. You open the door. 
Okay, low roll. You're good. And uh, that is turn. Sebastian. Okay. Um, he is just simply going to cast from here. Okay. I don't have any special materials or anything, so these are just plain old needles. Um, does this statue ever move? It has not moved yet. It has not yet. Okay. Uh, Vida doesn't seem to react. Stay there. We'll wear it down from here. Sebastian. All right. So for all intents and purposes, Sebastian is just going to repeat this round after round after round. Okay. You let me know if you want me to keep up. Yeah, just give me the damage for it. Cool. Just to make it official. I, 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 I think I've got it! It stopped uh, <laughs> reacting! The dart hits a, uh, a particular spot in the abdomen, and you see that it starts to crack. The cracks get wider and wider, and it starts to fall piece by piece falling into shards of wood on the ground. Well done. You have a room full of books and bodies. And we yeah, so... determine what everyone does. Oh. Go ahead and think about it for this <laughs> next week. Yeah. <laughs> it, can I... It, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So how does this pet work? Can I put stabilize on that, or is that just dead? I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know if animal companions do the normal dying stuff or not. All right. So we'll, well, we'll find out next time on Dragon yeah. Ball Z. Yeah. Since you guys are sleeping, we should just take a rest. Fuck. <laughs> We wake up four hours later, you guys are like, all right, you guys took yeah. too long of a nap. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. All right, well, for those on stream, thank you for hanging out with us, and uh, we'll catch you next week then. Mm-hmm.